so let's create one so on the left side if you click on elastic ips you will see that right now we do not have any so let's click on allocate ip address and scroll down and click on allocate so now if you go to actions again you will see this option that says associate elastic ip address so previously we allocated this ip allocation means creation and now we are associating this ip that means we are linking this ip with that machine so let's click on associate ip address and over here you will select instance and from the drop down let's select our web server 2 and click on associate so now as soon as you do that you will see that the ip address has been associated and you now if you copy this elastic ip and let's try to access it you will see that your application is still running through that elastic ip okay so this elastic ip will never change but make sure you de-associate this ip address and delete it because elastic ip is an expensive resource okay so how you can do that go back to elastic ips select this ip and click on release and it will show you that it cannot be released because it is associated with a ec2 so before you can release it you have to de-associate okay so go to actions click on de-associate elastic ip address and click on de-associate so now this elastic ip is no longer attached to our instance so now if you select this again you should be able to release this ip so as you can see that ip is now gone so i hope you like this video if you want to watch more such content around devops do check out our channel devops studio don't forget to subscribe like this video if you like this content and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section and i will see you in the next video